Oh man, it feels amazing, you know, uh, sitting out. Uh, last year was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do, but uh, I had a great coaching staff that just told me that, you know, that my time was coming to keep me ready. And uh, my first two shots just happened to go in. It was a great, great play by my teammates. They got me open, a great pass by Q. So. How's your leg? It's going pretty good. It was just a cramp. So. I just... You guys pulled away in the second half, but. 20 turnovers, is that kind of characteristic of a group of guys who haven't played together? Before? Yeah, over time, our uh, chemistry is going to get better. Um, it's a point of emphasis in every practice is that we have to take care of the ball. I mean, we scored 80 points and had 20 turnovers, so that was 20 empty possessions that we could have possibly, you know, gotten up to 100. So uh, we're going to go back tomorrow, we'll watch the film, um, continue to get better in practice, and just, you know, keep trying to take care of the ball. What was the key offensively in the second half? You guys shot you know, 7%. We didn't let the zone slow us down um, in the second half. The first half, um, it was the first time we played against uh, a zone that's not ours um, in practice. So the zone kind of slowed us down a little bit. The second half, uh, we pressured them a lot on defense. We got to get out in transition, so that created easy buckets. And um, after that, everything else just kind of fell into place. They played mostly man last season. Did you expect to see that much zone tonight? Um, coach said that they would play a zone. We prepared for them to actually run and jump us a lot. Um, you know, the first half was a close. It was a close half. So we you know we went into halftime. He said expect to be uh, expect to see zone for the rest of the game. So, I mean, it's 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 something that we've just got to adjust to. You know, as games go on, we're gonna have teams throw a lot of different defenses at us. So we just got to be ready for it. Give um, Alabama A and M credit. I thought start the game in the first maybe eight ten minutes. We did a lot of good things, and they went to went to the zone, and we attacked it pretty well early and they just kind of grinded it out a little bit in that and we missed some shots and turned the ball over we had 11 turnovers in the first half um but we did some good things obviously a, a couple positives we didn't lose our poise uh, we, you know games are going to be tough we're just kind of a work in progress when it comes to stuff but um you know give them credit that zone you know impacted us early uh, I thought in the second half we made an adjustment to get the ball inside more. Uh, our post guys did some good things, but we had nine turnovers in the second half. So we score 80 points and have 20 turnovers. That's 20 empty possessions where you don't get a shot. Um, so it's just, you know, it's, as I said, we, some passes were right there. We just didn't complete. Got the ball around the basket, had some turnovers uh, with some travels around the basket. but. You know, defensively, we got to do a little better job. Um, they shot 42.3. Um, we got 10 offensive rebounds. So, uh, some good things and some things, obviously, over the next six days, we got to really improve on and get better. But this team, this is a team that will hopefully continually get better. So, um, some positives and some negatives, which in the first game uh, with a bunch of new guys out there is kind of be to be expected. Coach? You guys were trailing at halftime and points in the paint, but that changed dramatically in the second half. Mm -hmm. what, what key that? We just said we got, we went to a different a, kind of a different zone offense where we kept the two big guys down low and we just were going to pound it inside, either you know straight post feed or on that backside. We got a couple of those may and got the dunk on the one, um, which also gives the perimeter guys a little more area to drive the ball. Uh, and we did that against his own pretty good in the second half. David had some good ones. Xavier had a couple good ones. Um, you know, it's it, it's a little, at times, trying to do too much and at times being a little tentative. Um, and you, you always see it early uh, in some early games. You just don't work against his own as much in practice. We don't play a lot of zone, um, you know, seven new guys playing tonight that haven't played against his own live in a game in a long time. So, um, but I thought the good, the, the positive with, with everything was there was no real panic. There was, we didn't lose our poise. We didn't get out of sorts. Um, we didn't start launching up a bunch of threes, which sometimes you see when a team goes to his own. Um, you know, again, we had you know, 20 assists on 30 baskets, so we, we do share the ball pretty well. Um, you know, so it was just we, we, had, we knew we had to attack some gaps in the zone and get the ball into the post, guys. Well, Quinn, you 
performance, he was obviously pretty impressive with those assists. He had 10 by himself. What did you see from his distribution that was impressive? Well, you, you can see flashes. You know, he needs to be more, more consistent, you know, uh, in terms of taking care of the ball, too. Um, but, you know, he, he, he's a spark plug for us of four steals. Um, I saw glimpses of how good we could be with our full court pressure, uh, but we can't gamble. And it's again, that, that's what we're fighting on both offense and defense. There's, there's a fine line. We want to pressure and, and, and put the heat on defensively, but we can't gamble and get out of position and play for the home run. We got to get singles and doubles. And it's the same thing offensively. You know, we got to be able to execute our stuff, but within that execution is the freedom to make plays. Um, and that's, that's when you have a good team. And you were just not there yet. Alabama, they take a 41-40 lead, and you guys respond by quick points. How important is that for you to see that you guys will respond when things aren't going? Yeah, well? you know, I I thought again there was a couple. You know, the, we had the technical fouls, the scrum in the middle, the other. I, I thought our guys responded to some adverse situations pretty well tonight, um, which is good because the only way to get better in those situations is to go through them. You know, it's not always great for the coach and the gray hair, but at the same time, it's something that's important for the, for the team. And we've never, as a collective unit, been through, through any tough times. You know what I mean? And uh, for them to take the lead and for us to, you know, go back and just, we, we need to be disciplined to our system and style every, every, every possession, both offensively and defensively. Um, it's going to be a, a, a key to not only being successful, but really, to be honest with you, it's, it's a key to our everyday progress as well. Coach, what was the explanation you got for Kerr's second technical foul? I, uh, taunting. So I got to look at it on, on film, you know. But, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's a challenge for these young guys because every time they watch TV, you know, the block shot guys, you know, you know, the Kembe Mutombo is famous for it. He makes commercials because of it. But, you know, so I, I want our guys passionate. I want our guys playing with great energy and enthusiasm. But we're not in a position to be doing any of that stuff right now. You, you know what I mean? Uh, and and it, it, it's a lesson. You know, you got you, we lost. I mean, we got to learn those lessons. He, he's never played in a significant game where now all of a sudden he's playing good and he's helping us. You know what I mean? And he just got a little bit overly emotional on it. I, I, I didn't see it, so I can't really talk too much about it. But again, that wasn't the right response. And that's one of the big things we talk about. We need to have a disciplined response to any situation that comes up in the game. And, uh, you know, he'll learn from that, as will everybody, because everybody's got to learn from that. Because Xavier got a technical in the scrum, too. You know what I mean? Um, so. I didn't know what he did, but, you know, either. Coach, I think there was a lot of jumpers taken in the first half. You went a little cold going into the into the halftime. Uh, there was two, there was a 10-minute stretch there from minute 12 to minute 2 where you had 10 consecutive baskets on layups or dunks. Uh, what did you talk to your team at halftime about going inside more? We, we just, we kind of flipped it around. So what, did we, what were we? We were 4 of 10 from the 3 in the first half, so 10 out of the 26 shots. Um, some of those, I, I, I bet most of those threes were against the zone because early we got some shots inside. TJ made the first two, but um, it was, you know, sometimes you have to flip the, the offense where they, they don't have an option other than to get it inside. It, it, sometimes if you give them the option in the zone, guys will just stand around the three-point line and shoot it, you know. Um, but we're, we're not going to be good offensively if our post guys don't touch the ball. Now, there were some passes that we didn't execute properly. We would have had a lot more points in the, in the paint. We ended up with what? 38. Probably could have had 50. You know, and as I said, 80, we score 80, you know, uh, with the 20 turnovers. So, you know, we had two baskets taken away for, tra you know, travels in the post. We had a couple over the top passes that, that if we execute well we we score on um so just you, you, 
against the zone, you want to go under, below, and behind the zone. You can't just play on top of it. And uh, you do that by hitting the elbows, you do it by hitting the short corner, and you do that by jamming it in the post. In the second half, we did a much better job in all three of those areas.